So it all started four years ago? Yes. Four years ago when we contacted each other through machine learning page, okay. artificial intelligence of Gronix on Instagram. Why did you do this page? <laughs> I made that page uh, to get more updates about AI community and that's where we met. And I was very active on Instagram at that time because of my modeling experience in fashion. And of course, I was also passionate about AI, so I got to see this page. <laughs> yes. And then we talked a lot about AI and how AI is developing throughout the time. And we were both super excited about how technology can help the world to develop, to accelerate, and how AI is really core to this change in the next year. And one day out of a sudden, you message me like, hey, can you help me with Data right. At the time, I was trying to build an artificial intelligence able to go from a 2D sketch to a hyper-realistic image. You probably have heard of GANs, Generative AI. And I wanted to make a unique data set. How? Actually, I needed a couple of thousand images of drawing of clothes, and I didn't know how to do it. That's when I reached out to Ronak. At that time, it was COVID. <laughs> so actually, Ronak, who was in India, was as close as someone living in the next door. Why? Because we could not see anyone of the same city, right? That's correct. That time was crazy. Yes. Everybody was locked down and we were inside the house. And yeah, I remember I was in the same office that we are currently like now, right? And... Uh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first time we are meeting. But yes, so I was in the same office. I received a message. I messaged a couple of people. Uh, and I found the right design and the product. Yes. And started the project. Uh, then for a couple of months, the project went on. Yes. So we were building a huge data set, unique, that no one did in the past. Thanks to fashion designers who were based in India that Ronak found and they were actually creating the data set. Yep, that's correct. Uh, we built really large data set of technical drawings of Carmen. That was our first project two years ago. And somebody from Selins Network asked us, do you know any people who can help us build data sets? And that's when we started our uh, the project uh, where we annotated uh, take thousands of images every single day. Initially, it was so hard to manage and uh, communicate between two teams about project details and how we want to annotate or how to label the details of how the annotation should be. But after a while, we got just of it and uh, managing 50,000 image annotation every single day. So currently, we are a team of 45 people and we are helping 20 companies with their data sets, be it annotation, be it labeling, uh, editing. Synthetic data. The 45 people who are experts in certain domain. Of course, we started with fashion, but we are now also in video surveillance and we are also in uh, industry. So today we are covering multiple subjects and we have experts on each of these domains. Plus, we have data scientists and managers. So, how is it to work with a partner who is more than 6,000 uh, kilometers away? Oh yeah, it was very challenging. Initially just to like understand what we were speaking. For both of us, I think, it was very challenging because... Listen. Okay, I will do it again from first. Sure. Eventually. Yeah, initially it was very challenging. But just to understand what we are speaking because you have a French accent. I make my turn. So... <laughs> <laughs> Just the understanding language was a barrier. After that, there is a time zone, there is a like culture differences between us, how we communicate, what we're saying, what we mean to each other, and yeah, things like that. But after a while, we got into a sync where we can understand each other and communicate very smoothly, easily, efficiently. Yes, so actually, at the beginning, maybe there was some uh, lack of uh, comprehension. But step by step, it went uh, for the best, and also it's really something new for me to learn 
learn how to trust in someone you have never met in your life, but it's possible. And uh, we got to learn each other through this crazy adventure. And then we created the company officially uh, together and we moved forward step by step. Time for numbers. How many annotations do we do each month? Around 2 million images every single month. So, what does it mean? So, we annotate or take 2 million images. Uh, what the attributes, fashion attributes are there inside the image, or if the surveillance footage is there, what is inside the image. We take around 2, 000, uh, 2 million frames or 2 million images every single month. So, it can be fashion images from uh, fashion stylists, it can be satellite images from public images of satellites, it can also be surveillance images from drones or from cameras in stores for example, and many other. <laughs> we are able to create customized datasets for each of our clients. And what is really good with our company is that a lot of clients, they told us that it was very easy to communicate with us. And now we want to help more AI companies to solve their problems because throughout our experience we have learned so many things on how to gather data sets, how to manage them, how to annotate them. We would like to help you with this insight. So if you are an AI company and need any help with this sorts of things, feel free to reach out to us. We would love to help you. We know how data is very important. Without a good and clean data, you cannot train your AI, especially in computer vision. But that's true in any of any other AI domain. And thanks to our expertise in data, in computer vision, in generative AI, in AI, in data science, we'll be able to give you the right experts and manage and create your data sets.